Hey, this is Ton Ton here, and 2019 has almost finished. So today I'm gonna do a list of the top five worst Studio Series Transformer figure so far. Just so you know, this is only count the figure that got released in 2019 officially. So I won't be counting all of the new figures I have just reviewed. So notice this, that in this video I will not concluding the figures that is like just a remote and change in a little bit of shapes. Like in the case of uh, KSI drone here, I will not count that in. And yeah, let's start the list. Number five, we have Shatter uh, of, in the car mode. And yeah, why number five? Uh, because I think the mo the main reason that I set her in the number five spot on this list is because of her robot mode, her car mode. I mean, this is okay. The the representation of the car mode is okay so far, so I do not have any complaint. And besides, I do not display Shatter in the uh, car mode. I just display her in the robot mode. And this is Shatter in the robot mode. Uh, the first point that I do not like about this figure is that. Because of the movie design, this is a female transformer, so she's quite slim. So that is a problem when you um, make the toy because you need to keep the body slim. But then you got all this uh, backpack and non-use part here. The backpack, the keyboard is huge here, dude. And since there are a lot of mechanical details, you just try to put it in. It gets to the point when it effects to the articulation of the figure like this you got all this piece here which will block articulation and in the shoulder as well look at this this is terrible and on the side note you see the the shoulder joint here because this is like it's a bow joint and it's quite round and slippery so the arm came off all the time the arm came off that is why I don't like this design that much and otherwise, uh, the head here is kind of like the battle face, the battle mask head, which I do not see her use in the movie, did you? And I do prefer her normal eyes. And besides that, this is still an okay figure. That's why I set her in number 5 spot on the list. Because this is the best you can do with a female transformer that transforms into a car. Because normally you see that female transformer figure is mostly like the form of a bicycle. Yeah, so they manage her pretty well. And if you just leave her in posing, I don't think it will affect at all. Number four on our list, this is the Studio Series Lockdown from uh, Age of Extinction. I have nothing much to say about this alternate mode, uh, Lamborghini. I mean, it's fine, but uh, it's a very clean, slick car. You think that this is supposed to be a good transformer? Until you turn it like this and you see the whole transformer thing. Come on, give me a break. If you... This is from my experience. If you ever see a figure like this, you can be assured that he will have a surprisingly 3 years old suitable transformation. And uh, you're gonna have a kibble nightmare on the backside. This is... Oh my god, trust me. I assure you that this guy will not be easy. And here is we have Lockdown. And he shares the same problem with Shudder. Dude, look at this backpack. This is huge. This is like a turtle backpack. This is not a transformer backpack, dude. This is huge. That is why I don't like him that much, to be honest, because the backpack is huge. And not just the backpack huge effect itself, but look at this, because of the backpack, so the joint, the waist joint is all very limited. You can barely swivel here. And that is for the effect on the uh, articulation and another thing is look at this He's such a short transformer because of the backpack blocks it make it blocky That is why because in the movie lockdown This is supposed to be a very agile transformer and very slim transformer And it should be as nearly as tall as Optimus Prime But here we have Prime here and Look lockdown doesn't even up to the scale. I think lockdown should be up here something like this It should be better and that's why I don't like it. And another point of this figure itself is look at the hand. They did nothing with the hand. This is basically the the card the car draw. Here, look at this. This is basically the car draw. They did nothing with it. This is simply just like a piece of plastic. No joint, nothing. The doors cannot even open in the robot mode. Which is terrible for a figure of the studio series line, which is supposed to be movie accurate. This is terrible. 
This honestly, this, to me, this looks like the toys from the years 2000 or something. Number three on our list, we have the World War II Bumblebee. And one thing that they keep promising us is that um, this line is supposed to be movie accurate. But this figure is not! Come on! What they gave us in the movie is not an armored vehicle. It's supposed to be a normal, a normal car. Not with guns sticking out the front section like this. He's supposed to be a normal car. Come on Hasbro, what is wrong with you? Why you keep changing things when you promise another thing? Is there any problem with you doing figures movie accurate? No, but why did you need to change this? Why? If you cannot make a good engineering figure, then don't do it. You're gonna use this figure for Hot Rod Remote already. Come on, we know. Turning the back, as you see here, we also got the same problem with lockdown. We got the cable nightmare. And yes, a, no, a lot of you would argument again that um, if you, you're never gonna display your figure like this. Yes, I don't. But then, when you transform it, it will be cable hell. Come on, this is why he's not on number three of my list. Cable nightmare and not movie accurate at all. When you talk about this figure, his backpack is even bigger than lockdown. What the... What is wrong with you guys, Hasbro? Look at this guy's backpack. This is huge. Like they barely did anything with it. Look, what this is? This is like a Chinese toy. All right. Yeah, the number three on our list. The Studio Series Bumblebee World War II. And here yeah, he does have some good point like the weapon. I did like the weapon, but look at this, the whole engineering. This is what they gave us in 2019. A backpack that barely transformed, massive cables. And don't and look at the feet itself. Too many unused thing. Look at this. The back is terrible. I know that you guys will not. You guys will never display your transformer figure in this size. But look at this. The engineer is terrible, and it blocks in the way of the articulation. Everything blocks in the way. And look at the feet itself. It doesn't have any joint at all. So you, the best he can do is always standing like this. Not pose anything and look nice this is what we got here from the studio series of bumblebee and yeah this is i mean the weapon is nice but this is terrible and he this is what we got the uh, flip-flop transformer hands thing come on man you can do better than that at the number two spot on the list we have the studio series bumblebee from his standalone movie well, I do not actually have a lot of things to complain about him in this mode here, but um, I have more things to complain in the robot mode. The car mode is okay, I guess. A good representation of the vehicle. But one thing I find quite strange is I cannot fit this part, this part here. I see, it seems like I cannot fit them all. I don't know if it is my figure problem or your figures all have the same problem. Just uh, tell me in the comment section below for more. So this is the Studio Series 18 Bumblebee movie from 2018. And why he's on the second spot on the list? Because he's not movie accurate at all. He's supposed to be the movie accurate. That is the point of the Studio Series line. But he's not. Because honestly, this guy got released just right after the movie. So th this is what Hasbro gave us. They uh, copy the engineering section of the uh, Studio Series 01 Bumblebee, which copy from the movie masterpiece figure Bumblebee. And this is what they give us. This is like the cable hell. Like I mean, this is if this is like a normal a movie Bumblebee figure, it would be okay. But this is like the standalone movie. And in the movie, he doesn't have all this draw section up like that. Come on, really? Look at the backpack. It's huge. It is huge. And it's not supposed to be like this. I'm so disappointed. In the movie, the backpack is barely visible. It's such a smooth transform in the movie that they like about that. And because of the leg section here, they use a different mechanic of the uh, transformation. So just make it look new and look, doesn't look like the old Bumblebee remote. They change it a little bit. But that makes this figure sucks. Honestly, the, the leg look uneven. Come on. It's not even in scale. And this is what happened when you try so hard to release a figure. I mean like, I don't blame Hasbro for this because all the other Transformers figures in the Studio Series, 
they at least got like a Voyager Deluxe or Leader before that and then they got the Studio Series but this guy just got straight into Studio Series so that is I think that's why I mean like he's still good in my collection but judging from the aspect of a uh, toy reviewer I just cannot give him the good mark he has to be at the second spot of this list here before we get to the number one on this list uh, I would like to mention a few uh, dishonorable mention that's supposed to be on this list or I say lucky but they didn't make in the final five and at first that is the uh, helicopter from dropkick the reason why I do not include him in is because he's okay for transform figure because you cannot expect too far from a slick helicopter like that to transform into a buffy transformer that is the same thing happened with shatter you cannot expect a uh, buffy character into a slim transformer and the sick one is uh, scrub metal why I do not give him in because he Actually, the robot mode didn't appear in the movie. We just seen him. We just saw him co combining into Devastator. That is why he's not connected. And now let's get to the final Transformer. And on this list, and the number one on our list, we have the uh, Leader Megatron from Dark of the Moon. Where do I start? Come on. This thing is King Hollow. Why, has bro? Why? You give us a leader and look at the the hollow part of this. You can make a panel and cover this all up, but no, it has to be hollow. Why? And you, what is the point of give us rotating wheel? When you have this chest pieces here like this, it cannot, it cannot even stand like balancedly. Why? Come on, why? And you give us the cloth, which is okay. This is rubber and this piece here. In the transformation, you're gonna flip them out, but be careful because this is really easy to break. Since this gets in the way, this is a, it's like the worst of engineering. This is like the basic knowledge of engineer transformer. This is a leader. You make us pay a leader price for this, and you give us this shit. And this is what we got: the flip flop fucking panel here. It doesn't even go together, and this is look like rubbish. Give me a break. I mean, what the. F Look at this, this is a leader class figure in 2019 and it's such a floppy figure. Look at this. For real? He's a leader class of the Studio Series line which is supposed to be really good and nice just after the uh, Masterpiece line. But guess what? This is what Hasbro gave us. A Megatron figure. Which, I mean, I don't know what to say. It doesn't capture anything in the movie at all. Despite from the hood like. This is like nothing, nothing to me. The leg is have a, such a stupid mechanism. Why cannot he just stand straight like this? Why does just you have to keep making him look like a chicken? Hasbro, why? And look at the the leg section here. Such a floppy section. It does nothing is locked. This does not feel like a leader at all. Look at the it's such a floppy section here, and the arms. Kibble hell, come on, give me a break. It's supposed to be really clean figure. I mean, yeah, and the chest also, this is what we got, as you can see here. It's hollow inside. It's hollow, the chest is hollow. I have nothing to say about this figure. That is why he marked as the worst figure of 2019. The worst studio series of 2019 really so far. Why has bro, why you have to do this, do this to us? Why? You make such a you oh you made a okay figure the Voyager Revenge of the Fallen one, but why did you fucked up this one here? I mean, look at Prime. Does he look fucked up? No, Prime look okay. Prime is fine, but why does Megatron has to have some problem? And that is my list for the top five worst Transformer figure and like Studio Series figures. Uh, 2019 up till now what do you think of this list be sure to uh, leave the comment below and also check out the videos for this review as well I'll leave them all in the description below and plus my Instagram account and please follow it to get notified on any new update of mine in Transformer figure and review and toys and it's an another way of me communicating with you guys as well so that's it for today, I'll see you in the next video, Tonton out.